I've got my 2005 E46 330 Xi right here. And as you can see on the dashboard, my coolant level low indicator is on. And I have been monitoring this for about a month now. And actually my coolant level has been good. I've been checking it every morning before I start the engine. And it turns out it was just a faulty sensor. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to replace this sensor. So let's get right to it. Okay, underneath the driver's side, there's the sensor right there. I'm going to take that off. First, I'm going to unplug it. Okay, I'm gonna get my new sensor ready. I believe it's towards the right clockwise. Quick swap. All right, let's pause here for a second because I'm doing this job without draining any coolant. So my car is full of coolant right now. So as soon as I removed the older sensor, I was anticipating coolant to gush out from the hole. And you see my right hand with the new sensor just ready, pop, pop, one, two, three, quick swap. And I was like, nah, this ain't it. No drop? Okay, easy peasy, let's get it. Oh. Okay. That's it. And let's see if my light goes away after driving for a while. On the way to and back from work, the light has stayed off, so problem solved. Next quest would be the airbag light, and I'm trying to figure out what would be the best way and the proper way and the cheapest way to get rid of this light. And I've done some research and there's a bunch of different ways that people have done, but I will do my best to figure out the best way. Stay tuned for next video. See you guys next time.